Caution, I will let Felix Randall as a sonnet. Felix Randall is a sonnet with an Italian or Petrican rhyme scheme. This sonnet was written by Hopkins in 1880 when he was in Liverpool working as a parish priest at St. Francis Giver. In that year, a blacksmith's name Felix Spencer died in Liverpool of pulmonary consumption after a long illness. Hopkins has known Spencer for two years and had given spiritual comfort to him in the last stage of his illness. In the poem, Hopkins laments the death of the parishioner, a village blacksmith. As an Italian sonnet, the first two stanzas constitute the octave and the last six lines constitute the sixteen. In the octave, the poet describes the illness and the healing process of Felix Randall. He was the parishioner of Hawkins. He was a man of a large body. He was a strong, big bonnet, handsome and sturdy. But when he was afflicted with illness, he began to lose his strength. He became the victim of four different diseases, perhaps the four humors of the body, blood, cholera, pilgrim, and melancholy. With a question, the speaker says, Pining, pining, till time when reason rambled in it, and some fatal for disorders flashed there, all contended. As he was physically very strong, he found it difficult to accept that. So at first, he reacted to it, impatiently cursing the loss of his former strength and swearing impiously. But as a priest, the poet uses his spiritual power to heal the man and gives him extreme unction. This made him change his attitude. Sickness broke him, impatient he cursed at first but mended. Being an intent and all, thou a heavenly heart began. In the sister, the poet records his reciprocal relationship with Felix can contrast his Felix last fables with his earlier years. In his youth, Felix never thought that he would fall victim to such a sickness that will eat into his vitality and youth. His works as blacksmiths generated him respect as he was the most powerful among other blacksmiths. At that time, he showed his exceptional strength as a farrier and used to make shows for some large powerful horses employed in pulling habilards. However, as he approached death, he seemed the exact opposite, arc, cursing and unlikable. Even though he was an extremely physically strong man, he had to submit to the law of nature. Hopkins here tried to make the reader aware that no matter how strong a person is, eventually that person will die. The poem is modeled on the Italian sonator Petrarch. It is an almost perfect Italian style sonnet having octave the first eight lines and the sixth the last six lines. The octave consists of two A B D A rhymed quatrains. Here the first line rhymes with the fourth and the second with the third. The sixth consists of two C C D 
राइड स्टैंडर्स द पॉइम इज रिमार्केबल इन इट्स यूज ऑफ स्प्रंग रेडम हुईज इज अ मैटर बेस्ड ऑन द काउंटिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेस इंस्टेड ऑफ काउंटिंग ऑफ द सेलेबल्स इस लाइन ऑफ द पॉइम कॉन्टेन सेक्स बेट्स विथ प्लेटफुल अलिटरेशन एंड कॉम्पाउंड वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द एब डिस्कशन इट इज फाउंड दैट फिलिक्स रैंडल इज एन आइडियल इटलियन सोनेट हुईज लेमेंट्स द डेथ ऑफ फिलिक्स एंड सेलिब्रेट्स फिलिक्स यूथ पावर एंड एफिशियंसी